Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Wall him oh, in. No. He doesn't wall him in. He is out of them because Incredible he's running them value. in three Mangadai. He sniped them all. Yeah. So many kills for these three Mangadai. Look at this. Just doop. They just keep coming out and he keeps shooting them down. Here is the game between Spybull and Cyanide. Magyars versus Vietnamese on Arabia. Let's go. I want to play Vietnamese to weird pick. Mm, since it used to be one of the worst saves uh, doing for the longest time, right? With V, with yeah. they got they got an upgrade where they are uh, where they um, they save a bit of uh, resources on the upgrades, right? They don't need to pay any wood for the gold mining tag, the uh, farm tag, and and the wood tag, especially, right? So they do save a bit of wood, what makes it much easier to keep producing archers and afford the. Uh, Archie Rangers were also getting the upgrades. That's very nice. And now, and they're... honestly, Vietnamese is a really good sieve to lame with because you know exactly where the TC is. Yeah. You you know exactly where to send your scout to like scout around the base to try to find those the sheep before your opponent does. So I mean, if if he can find all of his all of his ah uh, no he went back. If, if Sai and I can find all of his sheep uh, quickly, that could be really good. Now maybe you remember it, but I used to have a have a list of sifts that are very very good for new players to to pick yep. and then master that one sif to learn a game. And Vietnamese was right yeah, next. Uh, to I can okay. actually pull this up uh, on my stream real quick. Now the reason for that is Vietnamese are known as an archer sif, but they actually can do anything they want. Right? They have all the options. They have bloodlines now. They they have strong knights. Elephants, camels, uh, not camels, but infantry, they, they just have everything. So you can do whatever you want. And then they they don't have a very strong eco bonus, which which would throw off your, your build orders in any way. But they do have a small one, which helps you out. And then also seeing the enemy TC makes it very easy to not lose your own scout, which is important if you're new to game and tend to lose your scout a lot. It helps improve. So it's a very good save for someone to learn the game with. Oh, it's, he, Sinai is really unlucky with, with not finding uh, his last two sheep. But. Yeah. Um, if you're watching on stream right now, this is the uh, picture that you see is the um, the Civ tier list that Flying Mouse made for best Civs for uh, newer players. So if you're newer to this game, um, you may want to screenshot this or, you know what, I will post this in the Discord as well. Um, if you guys want to uh, copy this, it's going to be under uh, the, uh, the, 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 where do I put this? Uh, clip it, I guess. Let's put it under clip it. Yeah, I think I will have to have to update it because it's still on Malay in the very bottom tier, which is because I made the list when I, uh, when Malay was actually very bad because they, they were bugged and it used to take twice as long to create to get into the next time instead of uh, yeah yeah, yeah. as long so actually somewhere in the mid tiers now. And the list isn't to tell you not to play any of the sifts. It's more to to tell you which sifts are easy to play and good to learn the game with, and which sifts. I mean, you can play any sift, right? Just. If you just want to master Civ and need a good Civ that can do anything, and, and if you want to master Civ and learn the game that way, that that gives you a, a frame of reference. If you just prefer any Civ, you can just just use it anyway, right? Yeah. So right. enough talk about random lists we made uh, back in the day. Let's talk yeah. about game, right? Yeah. Um, Magyars versus Vietnamese. I mean, I like Magyars in Arabia just because of the aggression. It's really nice. Both for men at arms or scouts. Um, as we're looking at, as far as their maps go, um, uh, Cyanide's base is really nice. I think he is definitely the most wallable base out of the two of them. Uh, Spyball has a very open uh, golden stone on the left side. 
And uh, walling is going to be a little bit awkward on the right side as well, but not impossible. I mean, neither of them have a perfectly wallable side, right? And even cyanide space on the right-hand side, it's wide open. So it's well, not... no, what he should do is what he's doing is if he uh, walls from just that wood line where the barracks is to the wood line on the hill and then to the cliff. Uh, that's, that's almost a screen deck. No, that's a very long wall. And you can do it right, then you can just fall to the right-hand side of spiral space the same way. Just a bit more awkward with the front as well, but... I mean, both of those bases, if you really want to wall them, you can, but it's hard for both of them, so let's see where this ends, All right? Yeah. Ooh, Drush for Cyanide. Yeah, he's he's not messing around, man. I mean, you, Dude, he's you got some really good scouting, too, for, uh, for Spybull. Um, Cyanide is, is scouting the whole base at this point. Huge, huge scout. Like, yeah, look at the score. That's just all from scouting. Now, there, there are two approaches to, to, the, to the Vietnamese bonus I've seen the enemy to see, right? One is to okay, you know where your opponent is, so you can just attack yeah. him and, and build your own base so thoroughly, which is what you're doing. The other approach would be to move out early and try to find some extra resources you can take. Uh, but, but he couldn't make that last, last uh, militia. Yeah, because he's out. No, he isn't. Just didn't collect the, the gold in time, which is a bit awkward. And now it's coming. Yeah, he was, he was quick walling from the enemy scout here on his wood line. Yeah, it was yeah, just busy, but... And now he's up to a few late as well. He had a bit of idle time, I think. Yeah, yeah he still one village ahead, but the Bible will be ahead as soon as he starts making it again, because he's already in few late and cyanide does not yeah. meet, so. So Spival, he's very, very well. Two villages on the on the uh, stable I like here. Right, you yeah. need that up as quickly as possible to make those discount extra attack scouts, which are so broken. I just I feel the drush is just way, way too late here for Cyanide. And finding the villager, and he's just passing by. Spival could have just killed that walling villager. He didn't yeah. realize it. Yeah, because he has the now extra attack. Even without the extra attack, you can probably kill it, but with it, it's much easier. It's 10 hits to kill without, and 8 with. So it's quite quite different, actually. Mm. In AoE terms, small difference, no pulling hard, that's AoE. And now, okay, he's found it. The dead village is dead. First bill. And he can actually almost take a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he can take it. He's well, not going to be able to, if, but, you know. If she had fought back, she would have survived for 3 HP, but... Uh, yeah, the Drush, Drush yeah, just, just hasn't done anything for Side Knight so far. Just well, now he's found the weak village of walling. Never take weak villages out to wall. That hurts so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That scout, man. That scout has been value. That's the power of Magyars here, right? Even your starting scout can just get so much value for you, right? Two will down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, but let's see how Spival reacts to to the Drush. I mean, it's very late. Oh, he got men at arms. Okay, okay, this is men at arms play. I don't, I don't understand that. He should have got, he should have went up to feudalage first before getting the militia. Yeah, it, it's a bit weird. He's probably yeah. messed up something as build order, right? Want to claim an arm for and then he made him an arm. Ah, uh, but here comes the scouts for Spiable. Now, the men at arms can go in at the same time. This, uh, let's see what happens here. I have uh, the sign out. He, he already has a spearman, but it's quite chilling. You can now set him back. That's good. No, but those are mega, mega uh, scouts, right? They're yeah, the main arms are in the berries, though. Hey, he hasn't noticed. Spybull hasn't noticed. Two I'm villagers. At the same time, huge idle time for Cyanide. Oh, he's going to run into the TC, though. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, they're attention. doing both doing a great job. All right, he's going after the berry villagers now. Hey, let's just take yeah, he should be able to get that. And Spival has, has gotten a lot of lot of value with his scouts so far. I'm not finding another angle to attack. Yeah, yeah. those scouts are amazing. It's funny because Hera just released a video today about why the uh, scout rush meta is is is, is you don't do it anymore. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, the high level is something else. Oh, the man at arms ran all the way around the base. Did he even go into the wood lines there? That's unfortunate. He even sees it too. He's out of the walls now. I mean, they met up with the with the scouts again, so that's nice. Yeah. It's in against. Ooh, against Spybo scouts. got bloodlines on his scouts. Yeah, that, that bloodlines. Uh, it makes it, it makes. It makes sense play. if he was making more scouts. I feel like if you're not gonna add any more scouts, though, I, I don't think it's he, worth getting bloodlines for your your weakened scouts already. I mean, it gave, gave all of those scouts an extra uh, hit worth of HP against the spearmen. And this uh, guy's back. These lumber villagers. Good job by Spiral walling out with the blacksmith. Yeah. And arms not really finding an approach. Yeah. And the scouts are out again. No, no, uh, now one more house and the uh, cyanide is almost full. Oh wait, no, the right hand side is still wide open. The, 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 the seven finished yet. Mm. Uh, three spears chasing the scouts. Scouts on the way back. They will probably clean up this man at arms and then he will be done with them. <clears throat> he, I, I wish he would have sent yeah. those those uh, men at arms either back to the barriers or over to the wood lines because the now, being at the wood lines could do much so much. Bible. He did a very, very good job of keeping his uh, keeping his towns in the working and yeah, uh, ten real difference. I mean, he lost a lot of villages as well. That scout play was amazing. Bible. Those three scouts can actually fight against him and arms for the upgrades they have. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're really weak they're though. Will, they will end on even. Depends a bit how they engage. All right, Bible will fill it up right now. And it looks like Cyanide is building a market to balance out his eco. So he got re he was really damaged by that scout attack. Okay, I mean Cyanide he got he got at least one more one more video kill, that's nice. Oh wow. Oh that is unfortunate. Yeah, the scouts didn't really engage properly. Well, the, he, the men at arms didn't really engage properly either. There's only one man at arm fighting there and then but as well, and I'm glad he brought fine. those pikemen for though, because that that really helps him out. Yeah, I mean he needs to finish his home walls, right? He's he's moving out now. Yeah, but so uh, this kind of reminds me of my game against Loki, right? If you can do really good damage with your starting scouts, it, it makes such a big difference when going into Castle Age. Like here, um, Spybull is 50% on the way to Castle Age, and Cyanide. Is close. He's getting close, but he, he's still a ways away. He's, he doesn't quite have the farms. He never took all of his berries. Um, actually, Spival didn't take his berries either. But <laughs> a double archery range. Uh, can you let me know if I'm missing something? Or Magyar is good at cav archery or something? Yeah, yeah, they best cav archers in the game. Uh, oh, really? That is. Yeah, they oh, get okay. a get okay, a okay. that gives the. Uh, Cap Archer's an extra attack and range, which is huge, as you can imagine. But they don't have any bonus in power which makes it very hard to play Cap Archers with them then. Uh, maybe it's just going for Archers, since the Archers get an extra uh, two line of sight, which makes them as good, uh, that, which, which makes them have about the same line of sight as, as a scout, but I probably think he's, he's wanting to go for Cap Archers. Well, he's making a knight right now. Okay, he felt, he also made a made a made, made an archer. Okay, got him in. I like the same. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a bit oh, nerdy. Man. Yeah, cyanide. He he's went into archers. He's realized he's so far behind. He needs to do some that. He feels like he does need to do some damage now. So he's moving into archers. I don't, I don't, I don't really like this play though. I feel like, I feel like Cyanide needs to, needs to get up to Castle Age here. If he, if he keeps he making archers, up, he, yeah, it's, it's hard, right? It's, it's so hard. He, what can he do, right? 
he won't he won't rage Carthage every time. I mean he could just buy food, right? If he stops trying to market. He's got so many on Well he has a market just... down actually. He already oh, bought yeah. food. Um market prices uh, it's it's still pretty good a uh, rate for food, but it will clean up clean up big time. Yeah. Next, clean up as well. I mean, it's not the, the knights. He has the he has the first armor upgrade for him too. Yeah, and see, and this is the issue with with uh, trying to create right? more archers. Like this archer is just, is just wandering out there for. Maybe just keep the artists home, stone wall your base. If the artists sit behind the stone walls and try to get Carthage uh, sometime, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, he's up to Carthage now, though. Yeah, uh, Carthage, so he might actually stay in here. 46 to 42 bills. That, that number that number's going to grow because uh, Spybull's now on three TCs. What do you do in this situation? Like, if you if you get attacked that hard, like, is stonewalling and, and trying to just get weighted out the best option i mean, I mean not letting the knights in is, is is the best option but at, at this point i would probably 105 and uh, try next game <laughs> if i win the ladder in the tournament i mean you will try to keep on a bit maybe see if you can do something miraculous with conversions and monks and car oh no yeah. the house didn't finish i don't know the time but i think this this game this game is over now yeah it is Definitely is. Well, not definitely, right? If if we get some some miracle, then, then no, it's just it, it's it's, it's the idle time. The bill's going down. He can go into the wood line, but he's not. Uh, he could have attacked the gold and the wood line down there if he wanted to. I don't know why he didn't. He probably didn't see it. I think he can go around yeah, the way. Yeah, he has his, he has it scouted though. He sees it. Yeah, but I mean, why, why would you need to, to move into that death, death trap where you can't get out again? And now, I mean, there, there are a lot of spears now, so they can happen. Maybe there does some, something is happening, but we've already seen some Kefal Archers coming out. Now more Kefal Archers. The finishing touch now is a forward siege workshop. Yep. And, Marcel, but... and, and even sending his, his knights that he made at home, sending them forward as well. Because if he does that, all the spearmen are at the bottom of his base, and then the new knights can just attack the top of the base again, right? And it hasn't been rewalled either. Yeah, he's well, going kind of to do it now. But the cav archers, perfect play. They can come in and sit behind that wood line. That would do so much damage. Well, I like to see the training session with Fabu yesterday. We asked the to play against him, and he played very well. He's uh, He's very equal to you in some ways how he plays, and so far this has been very, very clean. And he's found the weak house, he's attacked it, now he sees the pipe and he's running away. His micro is just very good, and he yeah. is uh, good enough at creating villages behind as long as he's in pressure. That don't think he's, that he will give this, this game out of the hand. And the whole entire army is chasing these, these knights. Now is the perfect time to send in your cav archers and knights into the top of the base. If, he, if, if, if Spybull has that awareness right now and sends that army in, it, it's it's over. I mean, maybe, maybe he doesn't want it to be over. Maybe he wants to <laughs> play with I mean, play with his food a little bit. Yeah, losing this game would be a huge throw right now. It's still possible, but I don't really see it happening. Uh, not with Kevasters. And knights with all the upgrades he has, with all the the eco advantage he has. I mean, Cyanide did a good job uh, rebounding. Can we talk about some, some how he still has not taken? He still never got those two sheets. <laughs> he scouted it now, but he still hasn't got it. Okay, he's seen it. Okay. Bible didn't though. He moved past them very close to Yeah, so I was just dancing now with all these cat horses. Now, 
uh, cyanide. He does have a quite. Uh, he does have a few archers. He does have a good number of pikemen. He's, he's still lacking upgrades. He's still got few ledge upgrades. He's finally adding a second PC. Try to get back to the game. Yeah. Fabel does a very good job. Keep creating villages. He, his eco is a bit out of balance, but it's, it's nothing huge. I mean, he's a bit too much on, on gold, not enough on, on wood, but at this point, don't see him lose this game. And I mean, we, we said the same about uh, Krista Moore, right? And he came back twice. Uh, he did lose both games in the end, but he did came back twice, and that went on to be a very, very interesting game, so let's see what's happening here. Alright, so this fight's gonna happen on the hill. This is about the military for both players. This is all the military they have right now. Crossbow just coming nice. in. Nice. Now you, know, now you need Spotkin as well. Uh, wait, what? Why hasn't it finished yet? Because there's a there's skirmish that's queued in front. Oh no, that's tragic. Yeah, that's so tragic. But then actually, he's taking good fights because there are no knights. Where, where did all the knights be? The knights are just sitting back. Yeah, chilling, like, not doing anything. Uh, okay, why not build the castle like on the hill instead of just under the hill? <laughs> Is that is that on the hill there? No, it's not. It's not. I think it's, it's he he wants to 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 funnel his opponent to go to the left hand side. That castle there makes it very hard to switch it to, for Sina to switch his army to the right hand side and move that way. Well, I mean you right, could. There's a giant hill on the right hand side where Cyanide could place a castle on the right hand side and. Yeah, but if Cyanide wants to go there, he will be seen by the castle. Even if even if he walks yeah. on the other side of the cliff. It's closed, and he probably doesn't want to do it. Oh, that might... Oh, we got that. <laughs> and now oh. here come the knights. Here come the knights. All right, let's see what the knights can do here. Um, okay, plant can clean up what's left of the pikemen, and now engage against the... And the cavalrys are behind. Like, if he keeps his army together, he won't lose so much, but... Uh, now the cavalrys are here as well, and... Uh, Cyanide is about to lose all of, all that he has. He's hurting. There's also a lot of skirmishes in there, so they're not very good at attacking the knight. Yeah. I mean, Spybel's micro right now is a bit off. Why does he need more when he's such a strong eco? He might as well enough in mm. speed late, and now, now he's in fast late, and uh, he's got the position, he's got the boom. Actually, Sinan is catching up in pop. It's in 24 difference. Both players very good job keeping the army together. In for Spibble now. Spibble, Spibble, sorry, Spibble. <laughs> I think I think this is this is the moment um, he needs to attack though. Like once once he once he took out the whole army, he's got to know that that Cyanide has to wait to reinforce that army. So. Going in now is, is, is definitely the time. But he wants he wants his late game army, so it's fine. I think it's the yeah. time. But maybe maybe he's so com com uh, um, confident that he will win this game that he wants to give his opponent a bit more time to show how he thinks. Right? He wants to wants to know <laughs> what, what kind of strategy Sana does in late game. It's behind. So. <laughs> Okay. Plan, man. And Magyar Hussar is also coming from the castles, man. Jeez. And then. Uh... You just dream of the perfect uh, Magyar combo. Now, I wish I wish he would attack the palisade instead of the house here. Like. Maybe he just mm -hmm. wants to. Alright, there we go, there we go. Attacking the gate. Cyanide should see this. Yeah, oh, using all the skirmishers to the knight. That's that's oh god. Yeah. 
All right, this this could be a doubt castle. Spyball decides to finally run in instead of destroying every single palisade wall. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, finally. All right, that should be a doubt castle. Get on in there. Get on in there. Get on in there. There we go. Just sit up, sit, just sit right there. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, this was. Now this is where you send in the knights. Send in the other cav archers. Send in. It's so much military. It's so much military. Just sitting there. Oh, there's a GG. Okay, okay, okay. What a game one. Yeah. It kind of fell well, it over from, from that, Tutelage. That but... overwhelming early aggression with the scouts. It was yeah, just so yeah, well played yeah. in the Bible that Cyanide didn't really come back any, at all. And But yeah. again, like I, I really feel like Cyanide could have done better if you clicked up to Feudal Age first before making all of the militia if he was going to go was... Men-at-Arms. Yeah, that was a mistake. I mean, it does happen, right? Because nobody's perfect. So, I mean, later he showed that he knows how to play. He made the correct unit. Yeah. I boomed a bit. So, I, 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 met, I think that the second game will be much better, especially since Cyanide can pick his own map and maybe he prepared something interesting and can surprise Bible. Hope so. Nobody is perfect. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. Okay, Uritos. All right, all right. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I mean, so far, he's the perfect record of beating everyone he played against. <laughs> Why is the well, game we'll starting see, we'll to see, we'll me? See, That's we'll see if uh, Mongols, if he, if uh, Spybo can, can get to uh, Mangadai this game. It'd be really interesting if, if Sinai can pull off some mana arms into Archer's push, but uh, we'll see what he what he goes for here. Maybe it's a bit un overconfident because Mongols probably aren't the strongest set for this, and if he's access to them, use them on on let's say but, Scandinavia. But I, the deer are inside went. of their walls, so the Mongol player is going to have the advantage here, getting his boar and his deer. Uh, really, really fast. So, let's see what he does with that. He's probably pushing it. Seeing how clean he played last game, he's probably pushing the deer. It will be amazing. And then... So basically, training with Flying Mouse is OP. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Or yeah, yeah, he's yeah. just a really good student. I mean, he was, he, he is a good player, right? He, he showed in the first game that he was good and he never trained with me before, but it's it's definitely yeah. that he played with me last week. And yeah, he, he hasn't played some of the games in the map pool, and so we practiced those. Um, I think there are quite a few players who've never played some of the maps that are played in this pool, so if any of you out there, just, just message me after this and maybe we can set up a game. I'm I'm up for beating uh, uh not not beating noobs for for practicing. No, I'm uh, Chick Monkey might might tell you bad stuff, but I I will actually actually practice with you if you want to. Right. And when he says practice with you, it means he's going to beat the. F he's gonna f there you go. He's gonna beat the f out of you. <laughs> Don't, don't listen to him. I can be nice. <laughs> I will tell you as much. If you try to go for, if you, if you, it, it doesn't matter what you do. It's just gonna turn into a defensive nightmare, and then until you just resign, and then he's gonna outpost rush you, and then he's gonna hit you with the the, the AOE taunts. Resign, and you're just gonna I've, feel I've, terrible. I've, yes. Never. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm... I'm Armindo. Okay. So, back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Got him all flustered now. Um, yeah, Spival has, has had a little hiccup there with getting in the, bringing in the board, so he's, um, uh, not, not the cleanest, 
cleanest things Open. there. Ooh, cyanide's pushing I in those deer, though. Very, very nice. I like it. I like it. Get it. See, we need to we need to call people. People people are just shooting deer here. That's All right, now Spival's pushing his deer in too. Oh, yeah. awkward! The villager, the villager ruined it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He, he met, he met, oh wow! He's he's pushing the deer while losing the ball. Let's see if he pulls it off. That's that's the main feat, man. I mean, he now, now he's showing that he can play, right? In last game, he, he wasn't able to show much, yeah. but. Right now. Wow, that's, that was really that's, clean. That's, uh, and then he just stopped making villages for a second. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that that was amazing. So. Yeah, I'm jealous. I don't know. I still haven't gotten down the uh, garrison vills into the TC and having them pop out and shoot the deer instantly. I still, I still can't get that down. The trick is you just click the, uh, you just attack the deer with the villagers, and then you put them in here, and then you can okay, put them out, and then they will attack the deer. Oh no, the deer went back immediately. For that spiders. happens to me all the time. It's so frustrating. And then he also was very unlucky because his deer spawned so close to the palisade wall yeah. that they tried to go through, and now it's very awkward to push them in. You need to take. You need to take a goat now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you should get up here towards the mill and take it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Just take it at the mill. It's fine. And he should probably start taking some villagers off of food and and uh, switching over to the other resources at this point. Like he he has. Well, it looks like he. I don't know. Like he has tons of food right now, but he's. He's not going up to the next age, so... He, he's Mongols. Maybe he wants to play fast castle and chop the... Yeah, uh, this looks like what he's doing. But if he's doing that, he needs to go to gold now. Like, he has way too many on food. He is. No? Yes? Maybe? Yes, he's going to... Yeah, it's going to be fast castle. All right, all right. No, no, no. Sign is going straight after. Yeah. Clean build order. Straight ooh, archers. Ooh. A little little fight, little dance going on right now between the two scouts. Ah, oh, but Cyanide, Cyanide's not clicking up right now. No, Cyanide, you need to click up. Cyanide is okay now. Click up. It's oh, fine. It's fine. That was that was really really unfortunate. And he's not on gold yet either. And once that 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 gold is finished, the the villagers will take the goats that are there. Yeah. He's the a lot yeah, but he's not going to be able to make. Fun. If he's going straight archers, that's fine. But maybe he's expecting archers and he's going for for, for, uh, for straight um, skirmishers. Or for some reason he's going scouts, but that would be weird because he doesn't even get bloodlines and he doesn't not want to go mm, for cavalry at all. Yeah, there you go. There's there's a second farm. I mean, getting them to get in the farm is really important. It's a bit late, but if he's going straight after, that might actually just be he's sending all the new villagers immediately to gold. Trade some yeti. To get a bunch of gold that that might actually yeah. actually fit. He's he's collected a bit more food than he needs to because it's just going to make the villagers right. So he doesn't need eight on eight on uh, food and three and three food up. But yeah. it's it's fine. Now look at that. Bible is planning to wall off the short way. So, if he's in time with that wall off. Ooh, ooh. What, what is this? happening? What is Bible happening? Is... Oh, yeah, so, so just it. Oh, he's tall. Is he towering? What the? What is happening? I'm so confused. I thought he was going to go fast castle. And now he's sending seven vills forward. He's gonna. He wants a tower rush, but but Cyanide already sees it. Sees it. He's sending villagers after Ooh. them to to see what they're doing, but he's not taking the archer range. He isn't yeah, making yeah, 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 yeah. He needs those villagers. They're not gonna survive. They get attacked. Yeah. He needs to. He needs to go back and finish those buildings. This is so awkward. Why? Why does he have so many idols? What? What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Just just send a weak villager that way. 
And here comes the scout. Oh, no, no, the scout's dead. Wall him in. Wall him in. Oh, that, that would be my piece. And out, and out, and out. Shit, no, shit, no, shit, too shit, slow. No. Too slow. Too slow. Oh, that feels dead. Yeah, not going to get it. That that first tower is terrible. I, I don't like that at all. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate, man. Okay, now this this game is gonna get really really interesting. Now I talked with Spidal. He never played hideout, I think, but it's weird. It takes maybe he wants to practice it. Right? I told him that normally you either see straight out to the man arms into towers or the fast castle. So he wants to try the man arms tower strat without the man at arms. Yeah. So it's just if, if cyanide would if cyanide would put a if put a uh, and um, oh, walls now, are okay, but yeah, I, I guess I guess walls, this is fine. Those won't save him. The villagers will kill him instantly. Actually, just the tower. They tell me to actually read range at one house. So. Now that the gate's gone. He has, he has to build it. He has to build it. He has to build it. That tower. That the house is dead. The house is dead. And there's the next tower. Oh, what? Okay, okay. You need to send all your gold bills to tower right now. You need to send all the gold bills to tower. That's not enough. That's not enough. There you go. There you go. There you, you need go. to and send villagers again. And then, and then, yeah, yeah. And send villagers, delete the houses, and then attack, attack the tower. But then if you do that, he might do that as well. So, uh, let's see. Now you need to make sure you, you get it to the weak villagers. And for the health ones away, okay. Yeah, I would, I would, but, but since the other villas right. ran away, I would just delete the houses and attack, right? Yeah, he, maybe he doesn't, didn't see how many are in there, but he should win that tower wall. And then, is he making archers? Yes, he's making archers. Well, I like it. Now, those archers won't get into the base at all because they're just not doing enough damage. No, there's a speech. Just, there's a... This is so weird. What am I doing? Yeah. Sina is doing a good job. He's ejected the villager. He's repairing, and now he needs to focus down the, the villagers that are repairing the GPU tower. But he isn't. You need to click the villagers. No, he is. He is. He is. Okay. But a bit too light. Yeah, but he needs to pull his villager back because that—that's an extra okay. villager, so he can't repair that. Or he well, can't garrison weak. that. But... Both players doing a good job keeping the eco running. Eco's look very even. Silence is a bit ahead, but that's mostly because the survival is getting a uh, hand cart, uh, uh, wheelbarrow now, which uh, we know that the uh, tribal got that for, uh, that cyanide for that for free. Yeah. And now he's sending in more repair. Oh no, it is it ejected. The timing was very bad there. Need to put villagers back there. Get inside again. Checker. Oh no, he didn't realize. Oh, no, the market is protecting that gate. See, if you bring the archers in front of the gate and attack it, then you can hit shoot the villager that tries to to uh, wall behind it. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Market has four, four tiles and the gate is five and you have only a five range. So. Well, one, one villager goes down for Spyball on that tower that was trying to repair it. You need to send two more in there. Very weak one since they just actually regenerate HP while being in, inside of building. So put some, two weak villagers inside the tower. Actually, just any two builds and shoot down the tower. Okay, now now he deleted those houses, so he wants to, to go in. Oh yeah, and he just runs away. Oh no, he's not. Is he gonna go? What is he doing? Going inside. He's 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 got balls, man. Wow. Wow, like there's no reason to house here because you can kill the scout with your villagers. You can kill the tower with your villagers. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like a reflex, right? You, you get attacked to your tower, so so you quick fall in. In this case, it would be better to send out five villagers and kill this. I mean, yeah. on the on the other hand, out of space now and then. He's, he's in the archers. Tower. If he denies the archery range, deny the archery range. Oh, this is huge. Yeah, as long as he doesn't run into the castle, he will be good. <clears throat> Now there's a tower going up for Spybel, which I really like, it's protecting their port. You could have placed it like two tiles further towards the PC, then you have much more cover fire there, but it's fine like this. And now that, that archery range, I think it was at 99%. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
He okay, can't, that's, he that's can't read the arches in. It's, it's insanely oh, effective. man. He just, just delete, just delete, just... Oh, he's gonna run away. Why? Just attack. There's it, it's Garrison the TC. You can hit the Vils with the TC. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Spival's completely off of gold. This defense is 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 giving me anxiety right now. Kiss. Oh my goodness. I know there's so much on gold. Like those towers should not be going up. Yeah, they should. In his they own should base. Know. What? There's no way that. Okay, okay finally, finally, finally attacking with his villagers. Okay, he realized villagers are actually warriors and they can fight. Now, now they fight. Let's go. But now they can fall back towards those towers, and those towers are daisy chain, so they they defend each other. Yeah. One skirmishers is doing doing some work against his archers. That's all right now. Ah, uh, he's just getting so many kills with these towers that should never have gone up. How in the world? And Bible is cross -like. Oh uh, my days. Bible, good defense. Good defense here. The archers archers didn't do enough as they could have. Bible has now house wall the left hand side. He can't go in. A tower on the right hand side. Yeah, Spiral's defense is very nice. So he's 10 villages behind in trade-off for Castle So what does Castle Age give him right now? University Guard Tower. Mm, right? Maybe. Yeah. That, that's one option. Another option could be a Siege Workshop in a Manganel. Manganels are so devastating against archers because they outrange archers so badly. Right, they, they have two more range than archers have. Man, I can't believe he got those two towers up. That's insane. Uh, wasting so many units that the three dead villagers lying out underneath his tower. Oh. Oh. What an interesting game. Look at that interesting snake of houses over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> has 110 total pop that he could have, and he has 43. I mean, honestly, I feel like the best idea right now would just wall in uh, Cyanide. I mean, why not, right? Probably too expensive for the wood walls he has. Yeah, but he's got to do something with the amount of wood that he has. I bet you he's going to build drop a castle if he gets enough stone for it. I just have a feeling that he's he's gonna do it. Oh, great drop from Tyna. He's sitting under that tower, and now you remember when I said it would have been better to put that tower a few times further to the left so it wasn't meant to be PC. Now yep. it isn't, and now sit under the tower and deny it. Yep. Now he won't be able to sit there forever because. And his forward fills are getting hit by the tower. Over there, so who could clean that up? Yeah, he's losing. He's losing the the, the, the tower villages. Ah, okay, defensive castle dropping down now. Oof. Oh no 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 no! Stay under the tower. Stay under the tower. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, Cyanide. He can't lose those archers. He needs to keep those numbers up, and then he needs to. I mean, he, he's barely yeah, collecting. Yeah, he's it. trying. He thinks he thinks denying the castle is is the most important play right now, but I just don't think it is. I mean, you don't. He, he doesn't see much of the situation, right? But I mean, he 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 can fight against those skirmishers right now. True. Market fix vehicle. Yeah, there's the market. Okay, market is going down. <laughs> He still, he still has so much on gold. He, need, he needs to bail away from the castle though before the, the archers die. He needs to get as many kills as he can. Actually, the tower ranges the castle, so he can not get any kills. Okay, he's heading back. I like it. Yeah. Clean up whatever boots he can find for it. And then buy your way to castle it.
Why are no. those balls? What the? Back to the north. To Castle Age now. He's 18 nice. archers. You can just easily make two other two, another two archer rangers and then keep from four. <laughs> but if if you just keep queuing and then your house and then your queues get longer and longer, it's something you don't realize because it's just a small number at the top of the screen, right? So yeah. But, and he he's done it. Oh, Spyball, Spyball, trying to take that gold. Oh, why tower there, Cyanide? Just attack the vills with your vills. They're all weak. You have all healthy villagers. I mean, those villagers, right? They were contracted not as fighters, so he isn't using them to fight. That's fair. They that's were contracted. Fair. You know, tower. You know, walling in these vills would be. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh come on. No 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 no. Wall them no, in. No. In he doesn't wall them in. They're just gonna get away now. That's so sad. Uh, he just killed his own vill. That was amazing. <laughs> Why is he okay, he, tried, he deleted the palisade and he deleted his villager. Man is nervous, don't... Yeah, and now he fights the vills with his vills. He's just done that in the beginning, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, I thought, I thought this whole game was going to go really smooth, right? Straight, straight archers for cyanide. You know, Spybull's gonna yeah, go fast so, castle. So, now the second one is so messy, it's, it's so weird. Oh. And now finally there's the siege workshop for Spybull. He's probably realized that he can't... That he can't engage that many archers. So now he's making... Make the correct decision going for the... Uh, there's the siege top. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I like this castle. For, uh, Three of Spybull's survived. That's nice. Those they should not have survived. Those three villagers should not be alive right now. And but there's still he... two towers, two random towers in uh, in Sinat's base, which you could have killed in less than a minute just using ten villagers, but he didn't. Uh... Yeah. Now Sinat is bringing through oh, what, all of this. Doing? Spybel is ahead by about eight villagers right now. Still very close. So... This is okay, insane. Oh my god, Sinead has lost so many more units. It's supposed to be towers, right? That's what makes it KDE that way, but... Hey, there's a castle for Sinead. I, I don't like the position. No? No. Why not? Place it much more aggressive. Place it in a way to that you range the, the archery rangers. Because then all those archery rangers are used, used as express units from those archery rangers. He sacrifices them on your units. And then you're uh, also close enough to okay, kill okay. Uh, Now, he isn't close enough to trap the castle. He isn't close enough to prevent Sina from moving forward, right? If Sina wants to, he can just move out of that, that uh, right hand gate and just move into Sina's deco. Just yeah. completely avoiding the castle. It's giving him nothing right now. But. I mean, at least he gets the, 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 the uh, market. He's getting crossbow, he can't afford Botkin right now, which is a bit bad. Or did he get Botkin? Oh yeah, he got Botkin already, I'm going to do this. Now he needs Siege as well. Bible made a Siege workshop. He has resources for multiple uh, among else, but he hasn't made a single one. So weird. Uh -huh. Ima now imagine if Spy will use the three extra villagers that survived and I don't know. <clears throat> made made some sort of raiding unit to just be annoying. But you don't really have to rest but right wants to go into Yeah yeah. Well he's got lots of Magadai in, in uh, his castle. Yeah, that could be his there? raiding unit right there. I mean lot the seven, right? But considering how expensive it is, it adds a bit. And now he's finally getting Botkin. He should have gotten a bit earlier, but he's struggling for food. Yeah. But he's struggling for food because he's booming from three TCs, right? Actually, two, he's not making any villages from the third. But he's booming quite a bit. He's pulled ahead, 20 villages. He doesn't have hand card yet, so that's an advantage for, for Cyanide. He's less equal, but more efficient. 
And then Cyanide has done a good job reinforcing Lumber Camps, while uh, Spiral's Lumber Camps are... Uh, uh, they are training exercise for the villagers, right? Uh, the villagers need to need to take part in marathons, so they are training right now by they walk long distances. Where? All of them, man. Look at it. They're all moving more than like six tiles, except where you built it. Oh, up. the lumber camps. Yeah. yeah. You you need to you need to reinforce the lumber camps. Basically, if you if you can fit in another lumber camp with one tile between the two of you between of them, it's it's a more efficient to take one. Now this could be a really big mistake. Spybull is sending his Magadai to go raid, but if Side Knight decides to go in with his army here, that that could be pretty huge. Oh, but I mean, there, there's a town. There are a lot of there's a lot of skirms. He should he should be yeah. fine. Town town centers are in good positions too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 it's just his goal is 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 the only thing that's exposed right now, right? Yeah, and uh, Sana, he actually found that goal, and he's sitting there now. But they they're, they're not skirmishers to do damage, and he doesn't have a. Oh, just passing, Magdai and the villagers. Are they? Is he gonna see this? Is he gonna see this? No way, no way. What terrible timing. Go right, go right, go right. Oh, oh it's so close. Oh, it's. It was there for a second! It was there for a second! Oh, imagine! Imagine! Okay, now what, what's Cyanide doing with those villagers? I mean, now uh, they went, they moved specially on the side of the uh, monastery, so. Uh, they're, they're going to build more castles! Castles in the middle of nowhere! Why? Why build those castles there? Wolf is looking like 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 a guard dog. It actually isn't there attacking any village. It's just pretending to be it's running with them. You no, know, well, this this the scouts popped out at perfect timing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he has to fight the wolf too. And the light cave upgrade normally is rather expensive for what it gives you, but uh, Mongols actually get an extra 30% HP as uh, so a sit bonus as soon as they reach us. Research light cave upgrade, so that's very nice. You know what's funny? That group of archers, man, that's something else. Yeah. Oh boy. He comes out of the uh, uh, fog of war. 48 Five. archers. And now he's got the, the berserk to counter the, the skirmishers, but there's so many archers, the berserk can't engage. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, this is where you need the Nagadai to uh, attack the <laughs> berserkers, right? In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Look at that, right hand side. Yeah, I see that, I see that. Why isn't Cyanide engaging with his berserks? I don't understand. Where is his Magadai? Mangad Mangadai? Magadai? Magadai? Oh, they're attacking the, the reinforcements that are coming in. I That's guess. good. And, uh, he's picking up so many units for free there. Like Didn't it. he have more though? I thought he had more. Where did they go? Engage. Oh, uh, he actually won the fight. Oh, right? the castle, I think. Yeah. Oh, the castle, yeah. Yeah, yeah those skirmishers are getting so much value right now. Like, those, he can just attack the gate, go in with the berserks. I, I It really bothers me that we haven't seen among an elf in Bible yet. Yeah. And now the berserks finally engage, but the artist just look the other way. Also the last armor tech for the Berserk is still missing. Now the funny thing is, if you pull back with the Berserk now, they will heal back up and then they I get us new. And it's a huge victory. Now, if Cyanide had a single ram at home, it just ram down all the top space, all the towers, clean up all the annoying shit there. I mean, yeah. look at that. But those three Magadai are killing so many reinforcement archers. Yeah, it's perfect. Bible isn't, and China doesn't realize it. Yeah, I just, I don't understand I these castles it, though. But this is a really cool game. Bible has, has so much more eco, but it's more and more inefficient as he does as he plays and love my guys. Oh boy. So boy, boy, boy. Yeah, he needs to sell some of his wood, man. It's just ridiculous. 
Yeah, he needs to add some farms, but he can't because he's boxed in so much against all these archers. No, there is space. He deletes the house in the middle. He has there's a, quite a few spaces he can bear. He can make farms on the edge of the of the wood. Good enough, good enough, and this is a bit awkward. It's not as easy as Side Knights is losing all these archers to skirmishers, and then those Magadai are killing all of the archers that are supposed to be reinforcing. He's gotten so many kills from that. And these castles again, they just they don't really do anything. Like sure they secure like the gold, I guess, that's there. But I mean eh. Alright, now Spybull's gonna make those the stables on the next side. And we'll see if he can get any value out of, out of the rating there. Yeah, he still he still doesn't have enough arms, right? He has sixty-six watch stoppers. He's very what right? He has to because there's no way. Run away from the castle, run away from the castle. Okay. <laughs> I, I swear, man. All archers to the oh, it me so much. Yeah, do you see all these archers that are supposed to be reinforcing? The Magadai are just like, boop, hello. It's so bad. So bad for Sinus, but so good for Spider, right? It was an ingenious move to, to put them there, but. The value is getting out of that is uh, ridiculous. Oh, oh, just passing, just passing. Uh, ten villagers and three villagers. Oh, he now barely doesn't the see that. With capture edge, there's an option where you can uh, where you can select units and look how many kills they get. I think those units. Yeah, yeah. Are a third of the kills. Uh, oh, for have... sure, for sure. They're getting so much value right now. Oh, Spybull is going to town center that three tile goal. That is insane. Oh, I can't watch that, man. Mm, it's hurting so much. Cyanide did so well. I know. He, much in the early game, so I really wanted him to do well this game, and and he did. But he's not now. He's wasting units. He's done so well in creating them. But he's just not good at engaging with them, and he—I mean—he has him now. I know, but the Spybull is the one who's him because he's got the better eco, right? Yeah. And Cyanide keeps making up, uh, making those units. He does such a good was a making them. He doesn't get any use out of them because Incredible he's running them in value. three Mangadai. He, he snipes them all. Yeah. So many kills for these three Mangadai. Look at this. There's group. They just keep coming out, and he keeps shooting them down. Oh, man. And the Berserks don't have many upgrades either. Over. I mean, he, he did a very good job. He, he, he didn't defend aye, aye, aye. Covers, but it kind of worked in the end. And, and he had all those, those units and he moved forward and looked very promising, but his engagement wasn't good enough. But now he, 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 he's falling apart. Can you show the bill count real quick? 128 villagers to 82 right now. 130 villagers. And the scouts haven't even done anything on the right hand side. Thanks. Bible's just sending oh them all the way back to his home base. They're running all the way back home. Yeah, you, um, you know that when you lose, you're going to play against probably Cyanide. And if you win, you probably play against Bible, right? Okay. We're seeing it's getting your next opponent. I mean, we will see that finally when, when uh, you actually play against Copy Dark. But... Oh yeah, there's no reason, no reason to build a tower there, Spybull. Don't, don't do that. Just, just use the trebs, jump down the TC. Put the tower up after the TC is destroyed. <laughs> I mean, he has enough units now that he can take care. Uh, enough, not, not enough upgrades on the, the, uh, on the berserks. Yeah. Not with the manga there. Not with the light curve there. Yeah, this is GG. Wow. GG. Cyanide, man.
Oh, you had that game. It's so unfortunate. The spy did a good job coming back and holding. Feel awful. I must lost around 50 to 70 archers to those Mangude. Yeah. GG. GG, guys. GG, man. Wow, what a game. If, if the two of you want to come into the voice chat, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go into the waiting room in the Discord. Hop into the Discord, guys. I saw and, that and uh, resigned. GG, guys. We'll interview you for your games. If you guys want to hop into the waiting room? We'll talk to you one at a time. Do you want to talk to him one at a time or talk to them both together? Mm -hmm. Hey! I think we'll be ball. playing each other next round at Cyan L3. GG, well played, man. Thanks. Whew, that was a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we were so sure that you were going to fast castle to Mangodai, and then you sent like seven eight villagers forward and start towering <laughs> okay. i wasn't really sure Haven't what to do the and yet. then I, I i thought like uh power rushing would be cooler but <laughs> cooler yeah <laughs> I, I i did i wanted to castle drop afterwards but then i i made too many towers and didn't even have to yes i know i'm gonna check the bracket in just a second and my, my stone ran out and then he went forward and i was i wasn't really sure what to do because i was really cornered i think yeah, yeah, you yeah. were, but you, you came back by defending with, with skirmishers for a while, and then those those three uh, those three manga died. Did you realize it? They were... Yeah, yeah. I, actually, at first it was five or six, and then I ran into his castle, and then I I put them back to to his archery range, and when I saw that he has the waypoint on the other side, I just put them on stand ground and. They got just three hits. <laughs> Man, we, yeah. they probably got at least, you know, 40, 50 kills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. That, that was, was really unfortunate. unfortunate. I really won the game for you. But yeah, was... I think I think so too, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even realize that I put the down center up in the end. It, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just I was just looking for any gold on the map. <laughs> And the, and the, and then I I saw it and I thought yeah why not but I, I think they run straight through his base so I was I was really lucky there yeah yeah so there were a few things that that we really liked about your play I mean it was rather obvious that you didn't really know what to do because you <laughs> started with a fast castle and then stopped halfway and went for full towers which kind of worked out. Uh, yeah, I had no idea how you got the two towers on his wood line. That was insane. Side night, if you're watching, just fight with your vills, man. You can batter it down. You can kill the scout with your vills. Like, I, I, those two towers almost took down his starting TC just from shooting it throughout the entire game. Yeah, that yeah. was really messy. I, I didn't even w w watch it for quite some time, and I had, I had so, so much. These, these guys were so much idle. And yeah, they didn't really do anything. But I yeah, multitask. I, well. I think he made a counter tower at the end, and then I just thought, like, yeah, let's get out of here and take some gold. Yes, and then will you say? And I mean, the build is actually to buy. The they, to quick they ended up building some into the uh, lumber some into the stables, wood, right? Instead and of then, just quick wall, yeah, yeah, just have true. them have yeah, them just so pressure and attack. I right? was a bit unlucky how Cyanide defended against the tower rush, um, but then it, eventually. He did a very good job of massing up his army, archers, and attack you. And at that point, he was scrambling a bit because you didn't really know what to do. So you saw archers, you made skirmishes. And then what you really liked was that one tower on the wood line, which, which defended you very well. And I think Cyanide had issues finding a good approach attacking you. And once the castle was up, he didn't get in at all. And then he had all this army, but he couldn't do anything with it. You had all the eco. And so you managed to hit boom him. It, it was messy, but it was well played, and it was unlucky in a few points for Cyanide, especially yeah, after the first yeah. game where you we dominated so much. Although that I think the the domination of the first game mostly came from how effective that first first scout rush was. Yeah, yeah that snowballed you, really quick. Cyanide did a good job uh, trying to boom back and get into the game, um, but it's just that that starting aggression was just really really strong.
yeah, he just lost too much, and then, and then it didn't end up too well for him. Now, I mean, one thing we could talk about is your eco balance in the last game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, the I marathon had quite, quite, runners quite in the, much on the lumber camp. <laughs> I 